Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Word 2016 and comparing it with the online version of Microsoft Word. And it's called uh, Word Online. You may not know about it, Microsoft doesn't really promote it a lot, but it's actually a free alternative to the desktop version of Microsoft Word. But it comes with a few limitations, as we shall shortly discover. So, Microsoft Word 2016. Even if you don't have Word 2016, you've probably seen a recent version of Microsoft Word, uh, 2013 or 2010. They all look the same. You have the ribbon at the top, uh, many different types of ribbons with lots of features for styling, layouts, uh, adding references, adding a table of contents, all of these different things. And Microsoft Word Online is a bit limited. Um, basically, to get on it, uh, just Google Word Online. It should be the top result there. It's on office.live.com. So click on that. You'll be prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account or sign in with a work or school account. I'm going to assume that you uh, don't have a work or school account. You just want to use a Microsoft account. And actually, when I first started using this, I just used my Xbox account. It actually works with this because Microsoft owns Xbox. So I sign in with that. And basically what you'll see is something that looks pretty similar to the backstage view in Word 2016. And let's just quickly compare them. Um, so this is what backstage view looks like in Microsoft Word 2016. That's the desktop version. And this is what it looks like in the uh, online version and Word Online. It shows all the works that I've been uh, typing in the past couple months or so. These are all stored on OneDrive. That's Microsoft's cloud storage service. So that's a bit different. Microsoft Word Online only works with files that are stored in its cloud service, OneDrive. Whereas this version of Word uh, actually uses things that were stored on OneDrive, including some of the same documents, or it could be stored on this PC. So that's one big difference. And what this means is that if you don't have access to OneDrive, that is, let's say you don't have Wi-Fi access or you don't have a, um, a network connection, like something plugged into your computer so you can access the network, uh, you won't be able to use Word Online because it needs that network connection in order to work. Whereas this version of Microsoft Word, the desktop version, it can just access a file stored on the hard drive. So that's, a, that's one big difference right there. So uh, like the desktop version of Microsoft Word, Word Online has all these templates you can use. And actually, this is a pretty easy way to get started on something, like a report or a resume cover letter or even a resume if I wanted to do that. Like, let's just take a look at that. It will open up a resume. And just basically, all you have to do is start typing in the different pieces of information about your education, your experience, etc., cetera, et cetera. Now, Now it's time to get talking about the features of Word Online. And on a superficial level, like the ribbon up here, it looks just like what you would see in the desktop version of Microsoft Word, but actually it's quite limited. So you can do basic things. Like if you wanted to change the uh, font style here, it's Georgia Headings right now, it's actually Heading 2. If I wanted to change it to Heading 3, I could do that. In the desktop version, it's very similar. Just go to the Home ribbon. Uh, if I wanted to change that heading style, I could do that. So it's the same. But then when you start looking at certain features, uh, more sophisticated features, it changes quite a bit. One thing is, is that some of the ribbons that you get in the desktop version of Microsoft Word, for instance, references, this does, does not exist in the online version. You'll have some of the features there, like you can add an EndNote, uh, but you can't do things that you can do with the desktop version, like, for instance, inserting a table of figures, inserting an index, marking in an index entry. All those things are not present in the online version of Microsoft Word, which is a bit unfortunate. I think on this particular ribbon, the only thing that's there for sure is the uh, inserting endnotes. You can do that in the online version, but you can't do a th you can't do something like inserting a table of content. That that's just not possible. And of course, Microsoft they want to encourage people to buy or subscribe to Office 365, which is more expensive. So that kind of explains that. But also, if you're using a browser, you just simply can't put in all of the same features, all the sophisticated features. But for the basics, it's pretty good. You can insert an online picture. Um, you can add a link, just like you can do with the desktop version. Uh, you can do endnotes and footnotes, as I mentioned before, even some symbols. 
Uh, you can do a very simple header, and I've tried this before, and it's not that sophisticated. Uh, they give you some options for placement. You can add page numbers too, but it doesn't look that good. It's not as good looking as the desktop version. So uh, those are some of the basic things that are available for the online version of Microsoft Word, Word Online. It's good for online stuff. So basic stuff for commenting, for collaborating with people. But for other things, it's not as, not as uh, full, fully featured as the desktop version. So I would say that if you have access to the desktop version, definitely use it. But if you're on the run, um, maybe you're using someone else's computer, you need to access a file or start something up. Uh, Word Online is a fine, fine way to do it. It certainly handles the basics very well. And maybe what you can do actually is start a file on Word Online. And then when you have access to the desktop version, you want to get serious about it. You can go to this, and then you can really start to um, use the powerful features in Word 2016. For more information about how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, we've written a book about this, uh, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.